Welcome to LiveBait.tv. We're here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, with the co-creators of TheBerg.tv, Kathy Grace and Tom Woodley. They're the co-creators, and they do a lot more than that as well, uh, to get the show going, running, which is not weekly, not bi-weekly, but if you go as to their web, as as yeah, as <laughs> you'll check out a lot of great shows. There's a lot to catch up on now, too, so for new people, yeah. it's kind of fun. Yeah. You just have to go back and start watching it. How did you come up with this? Let's talk about, well... Yeah, we, I mean, I came up with an idea of doing a web TV show about Williamsburg about almost two years ago now. We just kind of met weekly for about three or four months and developed the characters together and came up with story ideas. Wrote a bunch of scripts. Wrote a bunch of scripts and then um, shot MySpace, which is our second episode. Yep. And... That was almost a year ago, right? Yeah, it was a year ago. We were well, casting February. a year ago. Yeah, we were casting. Yeah, that's right. We were right. casting right in now. January. Right now. January. A year ago. And so did you get people to actually audition and stuff, or did you do? We did. Have we people didn't do, in mind for roles, or um, we didn't have really any people really. in mind. I had the only the only role that I wrote, thinking of someone specifically in mind, was the role of Early. Yeah. I like Early. Uh, Chris O'Connor, so who's yeah. great. Chris O'Connor. Um, oh my, he walked in the room, <laughs> and, you like, and he walked and out, he and we that. all looked at each other, and we were like, <laughs> "That's the guy." Done. <laughs> yeah. I find my food in the street. Street food. Look. Uh, you know, lying on the ground or wherever. It's everywhere if you know how to find it. We were yeah. chatting when you were gone for a sec there about the hip or dangerous. I yeah. Like, I'm always playing that now with in Toronto. It's true. My friend's it's, like, what are you talking it's about? It's kind of our, maybe our most popular thing, and it's only six words long, but the entire but it sums yeah. up video, a lot. But it, sums yeah. up a lot. <laughs> it sums up a lot about Williamsburg and just about living in a city anywhere. Okay. Hip or dangerous? Dangerous. So what Just are the three key features of a hipster? What oh, would you describe know. as such? <laughs> I would think of myself as a hipster, but maybe someone would look at me and go, uh, she is not a hipster well, at all. I don't about think it, really. It's kind of a it's kind of a pejorative term. I mean you don't I think it's you don't necessarily want to be identified as a hipster. I thought so, but then I refer By to other you. people. I mean you don't yes, exactly. Yeah. It's something you call other people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't I'm like, not one. I'm not one. Yeah. The hipsters live there, I'm not one of them. Um I, I mean I guess like in in, in, the, in like the broadest, most like caricature sense of it, it's someone who lives in generally an urban place. Generally, yeah. urban place. it doesn't have to be, and it's usually in a, in a place that you know it, it's the newest place, gritty kind of urban place. I mean, you know, they're not living in the Upper East Side or anything like that. They're living in the Lower East Side or here. There's rules. Yeah. I mean, there's rules for like what what music you're supposed to listen to and when. You know what you're supposed to wear, and like not wear. What yes, and what books you can't read. You know, and what, yeah, you got to play by those rules. I think. And, that, yeah. and that's yeah. that was to me the funniest, funniest thing, thing about, about the project the is that yeah, like totally arbitrary rules, and like that's what I, I love the character of, of Jed because he has these like you know that like sets the, the rules you know for what you can what you can what do, do what yeah. you can't do. What the hell is this? Guinness. You can't drink this. Why not? Guinness is awesome. Yeah, so you can't drink it. Why not? What are you supposed to drink? Schlitz. PBR. PBR tastes like shit. Only quarry workers from Ohio like PBR. Exactly. That you actually like the beer you drink? How is that ironic or funny? Can't you just drink something because you like it? Yeah, spring so really makes here. me laugh. Like, she's, I've got so many friends like her, and you're just like... You're, you're, you're freaking me out. You're freaking me out all the time. Like, you can't take everything. You're so serious. Yeah. Right. And what I love about her is that, about the character of Spring, is that she's so, like, she's so earnest and, like, the best of intentions. And then she just, yeah. she Flakes. just never Flakes. follows through. Like, yeah. Listen up, purveyors of suburban sprawl and disciples of neo imperialist globalization. We don't want you here. Your homogenized corporate branding renders entire cities faceless and steals money from local independent community businesses. Your high fat, high sugar concoctions create an addiction that only adds to the woes of the increasingly corpulent American people. And <laughs> as for your sickening, 
promotion of your quote unquote fair trade coffee. Well, let me ask you this, Miss Barista. How much of that $4.95 goes back to Mr. Juan Valdez? Well, thank you guys thank so you. much yeah, for uh, meeting so with us in livebait.tv. Yeah. Everybody go watch the Berg.tv. It's yes. a great show, very <laughs> funny. It'll keep you entertained. And uh, we look forward to watching a lot more episodes. Great. Thank you. Thank you.